here. I think I just broke my door open. Oh gosh. I just freaking messed with it and I shouldn't have. Because it goes, goes up. But doesn't go down very well. Last year I had to replace this because it was, the whole mechanism was moving, but now it won't go down so I can shut the door. Kids, this is why you have internet because you find out that it's a two minute fix. Okay, we've got my handy dandy screwdriver here and they want me to put it in here and release the striker while the car door is open. Or if I'm holding the handle open. So, see how this works. There. I did it. I did it. Ah. Okay, let's see if it shuts. So afraid, so afraid. Okay. Oh, I got stuff all over my fingers. So what I did was I messed with my door latch because I thought, you know, my door doesn't want to shut. It's not wanting to shut all the way. It like half shuts. So um, unless I slam it. And the last time that happened, the mechanism was trying to fall out. So I just like stuck my finger in there, messed with it, and it. Uh, released the latch so that it thought the door was shut, but I'm happy that I fixed it real quick And now I'm gonna get back on the road and go to the library Thank you Max for supplying me with the tool of choice today Fixing problems gonna put it in a special spot so I can get to it if the car door happened things again today I have made it to the library and I will be going inside and doing some YouTube things. Since I've hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to add a merchandise bar uh, below my videos so that if you would like, you can uh, head over to my swag stores and check out the weird things I've got over there. I'm really wanting to put up more things, uh, more um, designs, so hopefully I'll get my butt in gear and do that soon. I'm coming up on Deception Pass. I'm gonna try and go for a hike in the state park and see if I can get my Discover Pass, which is the Washington State Park Pass. The turnoff was blocked, so I'm gonna keep going down and see if there's another spot to turn in. It's a pretty big state park. My Discover Pass, super awesome. And now I'm looking at the trails for uh, Wibley Island since I'm on the south side of the park. I'm thinking about doing the Goose Rock Summit Trail and then maybe, I don't know. These all seem to be really easy trails, so I'll probably do a few of them. They're in this area here. Hopefully, I'll find some good camp. Bing. I'm wondering where I should go check for some camping. This tree trunk has a hole in it. I'm walking down the trail. I think I'm headed up to the summit, which is only a mere 250 feet up. There's a bunch of these uh, red berries hanging down. 
They don't look edible. They look like poison. I actually think I'm headed up to a bridge. Oops. Let's see. Oh yes. Went to the bridge. Well, let's go see what's up here. Here I am at the Highway 20 rock bridge that was built in the 1930s, 1934. And John Dorsey was one of the people that helped with it. He also planted an acre of trees back here as punishment for mouthing off to his superintendent while he was in the CCC. Fun fact. And it feels like little things are biting me, like really tiny things. So I don't know if that's little bugs or what, gnats or something. I just checked my map. I am going the right way. The Discovery Trail, I guess, is uh, what that sign says on the map. It just, I followed where I walked and I'm going the right way. I did have to go underneath Highway 20. I'm kind of surprised. I saw a lot of people kind of walking this way. But so far, I've only seen one other lady on the trail. And let me tell you, Deception State, Deception Pass State Park is a happening place. It's um, a really small, windy part of the Highway 20 that it goes through. And um, at the bottom, everybody's getting off the ferry and they're driving up from the top. Everybody's coming down from the Bellingham area and there's these two or three bridges with great views of the ocean and into, I guess, Puget Sound or something like that, whatever waterway is on the east side of Wembley Island. And it's also under construction right now. So it's crazy, it's all crazy. But I like this forest. Feels nice to be in somebody else's forest and in state land and I'm like, federal, federal, federal. And then I'm like, oh, there's other rules, other things. So, look how big that tree is. Look at all the sap in this tree. And all the cobwebs. Okay, I'm at the fork in the road. Oh, wow. What a beautiful vista. There's kind of this marshy area and there's all these great herons. This one's got a fish in his mouth. I just ate it. I made it to the bridge. Looks like there's a staircase. So I'm gonna head up. I just passed by a couple girls who look like they're gonna go try and climb on the bridge. I guess good luck. These trees are so cool, how they slant. Shower coins, time to go take a shower. There's a camp post here, because I see the golf cart. <laughs> and found the showers. They're not 
um, labeled on maps or anything that this that there's even a building here or that this is also where the showers are so I'm just gonna guess that this is a bathroom and shower area I've got my tokens I'm gonna go use it this is actually a really cute campground so if you want to go camping deception pass it's a Monday night or it's a Monday so there's some open spots but I'm sure it's like 30 or 40 dollars to stay here out of my budget I've already spent $36 today and just to get in here. I got a shower. It was good. It was a true 18 minute shower with my six tokens. And it was really nice, really hot, really hot water. So I could uh, definitely have it as boiling as I wanted, which once I got in there, I was like, oh crap, I hope they have hot water. Totally did, super nice. I'm feeling squeaky clean. I will now start identifying my sleeping arrangements for tonight and I'll also make dinner because I'm hungry. Yeah, so Deception State Park was a total win today. I I don't know if I'll stay down here tonight or if I'll go back up. Um, I think I found an area in Burlington that I like to stay at for stealth camping. We'll see how it goes. It'd be nicer to be out here in, in a more wooded area, but there's not as many roads to get away with stealth camping or just, you know, somewhere where nobody goes. I am uh, watching this lady over here whistle at this la other lady on the beach with her dog telling her that she needs to be in front of the parking lot because that's her private beach. I feel like this lady, this is her nightly thing. She just sits out here and screams and yells at people for being on her beach. The only sign posted which there doesn't seem to be one over here on the beach is um over here when it shows a map and um it says no trespassing on adjacent private property mm -hmm. but uh if you don't read this sign which like 90 percent of people don't read you don't know that there's an invisible line right over there I think she was just taking video or pictures of the parking lot. It really looks like she just sits here to scream at people. Tonight's dinner is going to be the quick chicken and dumpling soup with creamy chicken in a pot on the stove. 